All right, you guys, so let's check out how to create this glass text effect here in Blender. All right, so let's start Blender. I gotta press Shift plus A. And let's go and select the text. Press Tab. Now I can edit the text. I gotta go with the letter S. Press Tab again. And I gotta go here to the text data. And I also gotta change up the font here. And I gotta go here to the folder. And I gotta search for Planet Cosmos. And I gotta select it. Open font. Now this looks pretty dope. Right click on the font. Let's go to set origin and select the geometry to origin. Now we're gonna go here to the text geometry, open it up. And here I'm gonna increase the extrusion a little bit more. I'm also gonna go here to the bevel depth. And let's add a little bit of depth to it. And I'm gonna decrease it to 0 0.008. Now we're gonna apply a plane, press Shift plus A. Let's go to mesh, select plane. And I'm gonna reset the size. Let's go to scale X, 1.920. Let's go to Y, 1.080. So basically this is going to be the 1080p size. So let's go here. I'm going to select the letter, press the letter S, and I'm going to scale it up. I'm also going to rotate the letter and tilt it a little bit more. Something in this nature. So basically this is going to be the position of it. And it's going to look something like this. Now I'm going to select the plane. Let's go to the timeline. I'm going to bring it up. And I'm going to switch the timeline to the shader editor. Here I'm going to create a new. I'm going to select the principled, select it, press Ctrl T. Now this shortcut Ctrl T is going to work only if you have the node wrangler activated. You can activate into the properties at the add-ons. So let's go here to the image texture, click on open. And I'm going to select this poster, click on open. Let's go and activate the shader editor here. And now you can see the poster. I'm also going to split the viewport in half from here. And I'm also going to add a camera, press Shift plus A, select camera, bring it up, press Alt plus R. This is going to reset the camera, bring it up. Let's go and activate the camera view mode. And I'm going to bring it up even more. I'm also going to go and activate this viewport shading. Let's go to render and I'm going to switch the EV to cycles. And I'm going to change the CPU to GPU. And let's go back to the shader editor. Instead of object, I'm going to go and select the world. And I'm going to do the same thing. Select the background separately and press Ctrl T. And I'm going to go here to upload an HDRI. Click on open. I'm going to go with this one. Now we've got some lights going on. You also can change the lights rotation with the XYZ here. There you go. I'm going to go with this. Let's scroll down here at the render, go to color management. Let's go to look. I'm going to go with mid high contrast and I'm going to go and select the letter. And let's go here to the shader editor and change it to the object. Let's go and click on the new. And here I'm going to delete this one. Press shift plus A, search for mix shader, place it here. Press shift plus A, search for add shader. I'm going to place it here. And press Shift plus D to duplicate. There you go. Press Shift plus A. I'm also going to search for glass. And I'm also going to search for light path. I'm going to put it here. And about least I'm going to go with refraction. I'm going to place it here. Press Shift plus D to duplicate and duplicate it again. So now I'm going to go to the first refraction and I'm going to go to the color here. Let's go to the RGB and I'm going to go to the green, decrease it to zero, decrease the blue to zero. Let's go to the second one and here I'm going to decrease the red and decrease the blue. So we're going to be left with the green and let's go all the way down and here we're going to switch it to blue. So I'm going to decrease the green and the red. So there you go. And now we're going to need to connect these guys. But before that, we're also going to go to the IOR and switch these guys. So the first one is going to be 1.4, second one 1.45, and the third one is going to be 1.5. There you go. Now we're going to connect these. Let's go to the red refraction and drag it, connect it to the add shader. I'm going to connect the green here as well to the second one. Let's go to shader to shader and the blue to the second shader. Here I'm going to go connect the glass to mix shader at the bottom, add shader to shader and transmission depth to factor here. And let's go and connect the shader to surface. So now we've got like some refraction and chromatic aberration going on there. And you also can manipulate that here, the IOR, you can increase or decrease. 
I'm gonna go with 1.7 a roughness. I also gonna add a little bit more 0.08. You also can rotate it even more and maybe this way you can see like the third dimension. Yeah, and it's gonna increase that chromatic aberration a little bit more, which is gonna make it look even better. I also gonna go to the text data and increase the extrusion a little bit more, maybe four and I'm gonna bring it up. So this way we get like more interesting results going on. Now this looks pretty sick actually. And that's it, go run with it.